Now let's move on to the long questions and answers of this exercise. The first question is, what circumstance did the Bittering family face? The Bittering family had to face the worst circumstances on Mars. They had to sustain severe climatic conditions as extremely hot wind blew during the day and the nights were too cold and foggy that even the shapes of the boards that their houses were made of deteriorated badly. They had to survive there on insufficient food and without basic facilities of life. Moreover, the Martian climate brought a lot of physical changes in their appearance as they became dark and their eyes turned yellow. Mr. Bittring believed that there was some Martian virus which was responsible for these changes. It made him feel like something might draw his soul out of his body and he felt like a salt crystal in a mountain stream being washed away. Their thoughts were also being affected because of the virus as they were losing their intellect. It was like he was submerged in a chemical that could dissolve his intellect and burn away his past. The second question is, how social were the people of Mars? The answer is, the lieutenant informed the captain that Martian people were very social. He reported about their behavior to be very friendly. He described them as dark people with yellow eyes and said that he had a little conversation with these people. He said that they learn English fast. The lieutenant seemed to be pleased to meet them and was confident that they were very friendly. Ironically, they did not know that these people whom they were calling Martians belonged to Earth once. But they had probably forgotten the English language because some chemical, perhaps some Martian virus has transformed their physical appearance, dissolved their intellect and burned their memories away. The third question is, how did the life change finally? Was this better or worse? The physical appearance as well as the thoughts of the Martians who originally belonged to Earth and were Americans transformed as a result of the Martian virus. They became dark and yellow-eyed, their bodies slender. They eventually learned to survive in the severe climatic conditions on Mars. Their intellect had dissolved as they had forgotten the English language and their thoughts had also lost earthliness. However, as America was in the wake of the atomic war, living on the Mars even in the adverse circumstances at least ensured their survival. Due to this, Mr. Bittering stopped making an attempt to build a rocket in order to go back to the Earth. So we can say that although they lost their identities, it was better that they survived on Mars. Nevertheless, their lives were badly affected. The fourth question is, write the story in your own words. So the answer is, the story Dark They Were and Golden Eyed by Red Bradbury revolves around the Bittering family, who were immigrants who joined the other Earth people to escape the nuclear war on Earth. However, life on Mars was not very favorable for the survival of human beings. The physical appearance as well as the thoughts of the Martians who originally belonged to Earth and were Americans transformed as a result of the Martian virus. They became dark and yellow-eyed, their bodies slender, and eventually learned to survive in the severe climatic conditions on Mars. Their intellect had dissolved as they had forgotten the English language, and their thoughts had also lost earthliness. However, as America was in the wake of atomic war, living on Mars even in the adverse circumstances at least ensured their survival. Due to this, Mr. Bittring stopped making an attempt to build a rocket in order to go back to the Earth. At the end, a captain and his lieutenant came to their rescue, but they failed to recognize them because of their changed physical appearance, and they called them as Martians. The last question is, what differences can you point out in the lifestyle of the people of two different planets? So basically, the people on Earth had a completely different physical appearance, facilities and circumstances than the Martians. Their eyes were yellow colored, whereas people who live on Earth mostly had black, brown, green, gray or hazel eyes. The Martians' food was limited, but on Earth, there was a variety of food that people enjoy. The people on Earth lived in well-constructed houses mostly, depending upon their status. However, these people had to build their houses with boards and even they were damaged because of the severe climate. On the other hand, the climate on Earth was moderately hot or cold that human body and his surrounding can endure. The Martians also lack the basic facilities like gas, electricity, etc. that the people living on Earth enjoy. There was no prospect of having information technology on Mars either. So here we are done with long questions and answers as well. Thank you.